Welcome to Vang Soy Rover. This is cabin number two, and that's the one that we're staying in while we're in Norway. So right in the beginning, they have this rack area where you can put your shoes and area to hang your coats. This floor is heated by the looks of this controller over there on the wall, so that should help out in that area. Then in the bottom floor, we have the main bathroom. Coming in, this is the shower area, which like the other place we stayed in Norway, does require some assembly, but super easy, pretty smart way to do things that you have more space in the bathroom when not in use. Coming around to this side, they have everything you need on the toilet side, towel hooks, and the basin's nice and spacious, with some cabinet space above behind the mirrors, and some drawers with a hairdryer and extra toiletries. These floors are also heated, so there's a controller there which is really helpful for these cold areas to have warm feet. Exiting the bathroom on the other side, we have the laundry. And this is just a little supply room. They have a small washer down here with some cleaning supplies, a vacuum, and a broom on this side. The water heater is also on the other side, but we don't need to show that. Then coming into the main living area, it's really nice and spacious. We have the stairs to the top on this side, and then we have our kitchen. The kitchen is fully stocked with a full-size refrigerator since there isn't really a grocery store on the island, it's just a small convenience store. We have a fridge and a freezer. We have the oven, the stove top, extractor fan, old plates and um, cutlery that you need, some storage space by the sink and a dishwasher. Coming to this side, we have a table that seats six people, TV and then windows all the way around. This would be the other cabin on that side, so you're not gonna see a lot there, but these windows have a great view out over the water and I'll put in some pictures or some clips of that view so you can see that. We have a nice seating area with a little coffee table and a guest book. So this is pretty cool. They have a guest book that everybody signs. So you can leave your notes in there for future guests and for the people that run the place. The lady's name is Maria. She's very friendly. We have a basket that has our name on it with some firewood and some supplies that we can use the facilities outside and a pretty comprehensive guest book that gives you a good idea of what's on the island. Then heading on upstairs, which is where the three bedrooms of this unit are. Right at the top of the staircase, this is the master bedroom. So this room has the big king size or queen size bed, I'm not 100% sure, but it is the bigger bed and you've got the robes and towels and nice little nightstands on that side. You have a window that views out over to the land side with a parking lot and a nice little sitting area with a cabinet that you can put your stuff in. Then as we exit the main bedroom, on this side there is a There's a half bath on the top floor right outside the main bedroom. Which is pretty much what you'd expect. Toilet and a basin with a sink. Coming out of the half bath on the top floor, we have some storage up top here. We put some of your clothes or whatever you need. And then these two bedrooms are pretty much mirrors of each other. So coming in on this side, you have two beds. So single beds, one on this side, one on that side, and some storage for your clothing. And then these both rooms have access up onto the balcony. So it's nighttime, you probably wouldn't see everything too well. But over there, you can see the dark heading out onto the water. And then this is our own private balcony that has access from these two top bedrooms. <laughs> then we'll go on over to the other room. 
And like I mentioned, this is pretty much just a mirror of the one we were just in. So you have your two single beds, you have your closet space, and then another door out to the balcony. And that is the cabin that we'll be staying in for the next four nights. So we're really excited to stay here. Hopefully we'll see the northern lights and we'll keep you posted with other pictures and videos from the island. As we head outside, you can see the parking lot. They have a small fireplace area and you can see the three units that are on the property, each of which sleeps six people. The fireplace area does include wood that is provided and they have a welcome basket in the units with fire starters and smaller pieces to use as kindling. As we approach the front of the units, you can see each unit has its own private balcony, and there are tables also on this front dock section. There is a hot tub available that you can rent in two hour time slots. There is a long wooden dock that heads out into the bay. This is a great place to get those night pictures, especially if the northern lights are out. The lights on the dock can be turned off. The switch is by the stairs when you enter the lower section of the dock area.